Okay, so gun violence is a huge problem worldwide. In North America and South America, guns are used in two-thirds of all homicides. And so if, you, if someone has the misfortune of being murdered in the United States, the chances are it's with a gun, and the overwhelming chance is that your killer won't get caught. And this is actually true for most countries. In fact, what separates gun crime from other crimes is how difficult they are to solve. For example, each day in the United States, there are 30 gun homicides, which 18 go unsolved. Further, 220 people are seriously injured, and the average age of a victim is just 28. These figures are so alarming that in 2016, uh, President Obama and the American Medical Association declared gun violence a public health concern. It's actually quite easy to see why. Gun violence costs the US economy $229 billion each year, which is even more than the cost of obesity. So until now, attempts to address this problem have all focused on the firearm. But we argue that it makes much more sense to look at ammunition. And so the premise of our technology is actually quite simple, that uh, if you want to transfer information to a crime scene, the best way to do this is through the ammunition because it is in contact with the shooter, the gun, and the victim. So how does our technology work? First of all, we encode identification information into fragments of synthetic DNA. These fragments are fixed in a polymer and deposited onto the surface of ammunition cartridges in a post-manufacturing step. Uh, the fragments can be recovered from a crime scene after firing and traced back to an individual or a place of purchase. So the key point here is we develop an unbroken chain of identification on the firearm, on the cases, on the shooter, on the bullet entry wound, and recovered bullet after firing. And any one of these points is sufficient to identify a suspect. So why DNA? DNA is ideal for this purpose because it's inexpensive, non-toxic, and information dense. In fact, if we map the binary bits 0, 0 to A, and 0, 1 to C, and so on, we can get an estimate of how much the entire 16 zettabyte digital universe could weigh in DNA. And it comes out just 33.8 grams. Recent advances in DNA sequencing technology have also made our technology possible. For example, this slide shows that 15 years ago, it cost about $100 million to sequence a human genome. But today, we can do it on this device here for about $1,000, which is a nanopore sequencing device. So a critical part of our technology is we have developed the first DNA encoding system that works on this device. And what that means is we can turn up to a crime scene and identify a suspect within an hour of arriving. So what's the potential impact? First of all, we can identify a suspect from a victim's bullet entry wound alone. This has great deterrent value. We can recover a molecular history of ammunition previously used in a firearm, so we can trace um, the illicit arms trade and expand forensic capabilities. Also, because we're focused on ammunition, we can address the threat of 3D printed gun crime. Our technology may also be used to monitor military arms stockpiles and identify leaks. And it could also obviously be used to identify wildlife trafficking networks. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.